Do you know what the best way to fix a uh, leaky duster extractor is? Should we have a look? All righty then. So when I'm talking about a leaky dust extractor, what I'm talking about is like, obviously this is the type of dust extractor that we've got. So we've got a, uh, uh, where are we? Where are we? We've got a little unit down the bottom here, blower unit pops up and we've got a flexi pipe, but this works for any of the ones with the rigid pipes as well. What we're really looking for is like, we've got the bag here and then these crummy plastic. Oh. I didn't mean to open that. Okay, oh well, never mind, it's got tape on anyway. So, how do we fix things like this going on, right? Now, we can pop the bag on there, we can tighten that up as tight as we want, and obviously with the work, hard working in an unheated shop, so in the summertime everything expands, and in the wintertime it contracts, and what you find is in the wintertime, it will contract and you probably get like little wispy leaks coming out of certain areas in here. Now, do you know what the best way to fix it is? Ooh, this stuff is awesome. So this is like duct tape. So this is what I use on all of the ducting to seal all the joints. As long as you've got a dust-free surface, this stuff will stick to pretty much about anything. And um, I've used normal duct tape, like the, well, we all know what duct tape is. This stuff is so much better and I would highly recommend it. And so what we do is we do this. So whenever we've got any wispy bits of air coming through, and you'll often see them because like you'll see like, uh, it's like a geyser, 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 poking up from the side. This stuff just seals it perfectly. And because the main issue that we have is like, where are we at? These bags here, we've got little metal things that they're supposed to hold them on. And then for some reason, they put the brackets here. So the bag goes, it's supposed to come all the way to here and then they put the brackets down there. So it, it's never gonna work. I should have put them further up, but there you go. And so yeah, so, Really quick and easy way when you put the bag on there, because be honest, right? How many times are you gonna take it off? Like we do it once a week, because that's what the insurance says, so that's what we do, we empty it once a week, but it's just like a meter's worth of tape and the tape comes on like a 50 meter roll, so does it really matter? Um, so yeah, so wrap that all the way around. Now, another cool thing to do with the tape is, is if you've got a uh, little pinhole leak, which I'll be honest, how we put this across this, this uh, fence off and slides across, and you can see the proximity to the bag. So quite often, I might put a bit of wood down there or I might put the ruler down there, tears a hole in it. This stuff again is perfect. All you need to do is wipe the plastic down or we just blow it off with the with a compressor or just wipe it down, make sure there's no dust on there, pop this on, turn it on, look, and it works, hey? Perfect. And it saves you so much time, so much effort, so much hassle, because I don't know how expensive the bags are in the States, but over here, they can be quite expensive for a bag of bags and you can reuse them. And you know me, I'm frugal, so if I can reuse something, that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, so that's my tip for the day, all right? Let me know how what you think to it below. If you've got a better tip, by all means, tell me down there. If uh, you think I'm talking rubbish, also tell me. I might ban you if you're uh, not constructive with it, but I mean, life's too short, right, innit? We'll have a proper, nice conversation. Anyway, regardless, you'll have a great day. Take it easy, and I'll just catch you on the next one.